Good day. So, Steve Sirwas, 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 I don't know, new guy, just joined the group, came over from the Varex group, and we were talking crap about Varex and all the stuff you can do, and getting into song and all kinds of stuff. So, here's the premise. Chad, this is going to be a Steve vid, because we've got Steve, that Steve, we've got Steve Sterlachi, and we've got my brother Steve, who's a Lego maniac, or was, back in the day, and I've been thinking about him lately. So, Steve video. Let's take two guitars, two tunings, one genre, just acoustic. So keeping it simple. Think of this as a lock, a combination lock with spinners. You can change all those things. Makes no difference. What do we need? We need a Variax because it can do this. You know, between drop D and regular normal tuning, no big deal. You could do that with a detuning bucket of some sort, you know, drop D thingy or whatever. You could do it, but it's a Variax thing. We're going with Variax. If you didn't have a Variax and you wanted to change guitars, you could use a Sim 1. Oh, Reander. But that's a different story. Variax. So, that's a Variax bank. In the Variax bank, stock standard, you got, let's go for a Gibson. And a Martin D28. Two different guitars, two different sounds. More bassy, less bassy. Two simple tunings, because I'm not Chad, I can't do all that stuff. And there are all the toys over yonder. So, we're not talking about them. We're talking like normal people. And MIDI really doesn't have to come into this, because what I want to do is say... The power of Onsong, the power of Lego. We're going to build a simple preset that does two guitars and two tunings. So four snapshots. And then we're going to copy and paste that and maybe make a change to the overall preset itself. Not the guitar and tunings, but we'll add in other stuff. And make it all controllable. Now, here's where it gets interesting. You and I right now, or me, I'm talking about this stuff, and I really like that. I prefer to say, okay, you remember, you know, Steve back in the day, you had that great Martin. He used to play great drop D tunes. Hey, I know, why don't we do this tune in that? And then we can switch to and together. And then, oh, we want a Gibson. So, okay, we're going to make a set list of a couple of songs. And in those songs, we're going to switch between Gibson and Martin and drop D and normal tuning. We're not going to touch a thing. This guy's going to do it for us. And we're going to build that over a cup of coffee, having a piece of cake in a coffee shop. And those are staying at home. Because that's what musicians do. Or they have pizza and beer, which is even better. That's the deal. That's the challenge. Can we program a set list with no helix in sight? Come back home, connect up the Bluetooth between the two of them, no Wi-Fi, no fiddliness, two ticks, get it all working and talking, hit play, and it does everything. So we can switch back and forth between the Gibson, the Martin, normal tuning, detuning, maybe give it a little foot control if you want, or we're just going to spap around here. And it's got to be in music speak. I wouldn't call it English because nobody will understand what the hell you're saying if they were normal. But musicians should. So we're taking musician speak to MIDI to Helix. That's the challenge. Thank you, Steve. We will get back to you with a solution.